Sneaking out is almost an essential part of being a teenager. I've asked most of my friends and almost all of them have said they've done it before. I'm starting to believe that that's just like a shared experience between everybody across the globe. Some people even do it regularly, like they can't sleep peacefully knowing they're missing a function. Surprisingly, despite my character, I've actually never snuck out before. I know, I know. Ladies, ladies, calm down. Although I have helped multiple people sneak out because for some reason, I'm always the one being used as scapegoat to lie to parents. This one time I was at a football game and I looked to the right of me to see my friend, Steven, who was grounded. So bro comes up to me and I ask what the fuck he was doing here. Now I told my parents I was at the library studying with you. This kind of pissed me off because if you're gonna lie, at least make it believable, bro. Like this was the most unbelievable lie he could have ever said. What nappy headed dark skin on a Friday afternoon is just at a library studying? I'm sure there's some nerdy ass niggas out there who actually fit the archetype, but that's just not my body. So he tells me to be expecting a call from his mom to verify. And I'm a W man, so of course I was about to lie for him. Even though I really should have let him just get punished for dragging me into all of this. So fast forward like 10 minutes, my phone starts buzzing, and I'm in my way to the bathroom. I called him back and his mom starts playing 20 questions with me. She asking me about all types of miscellaneous things like I'm getting interrogated. Mom was on the phone like, what'd you eat today? What position in the sun right now? If you take 216 and 77 hundreds and divide it into pi, what do you get? Huh? I could tell the whole phone call she was very suspicious. It could kind of tell I was lying, but she had no concrete evidence. I know the whole time I was in the washrooms, Steven was up there panicking, but I still managed to convince her we were at a library, surprisingly. I'm just not realizing how much power I had in my hand. I could have really been on that call like, Steven's actually watching a football game currently. Yeah, he lied to you. You really should have beat that nigga. I mean, punish him for acting out so badly. Go back to the bleachers and be like, so what did my mom say? Nah, everything's fine. I got it all situated. Next thing you know, Steven's getting 250 snipe from a mile away. But this story wasn't the first time I helped someone sneak out. Back when I was younger, my brother used to sneak out a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So one day, he comes up to me like, Hey, I'm gonna need you to do something for me real quick. I'm about to leave. But if mom and dad ask, I'm sleeping. And as younger siblings, y'all niggas know, at every opportunity you get, you gotta snitch on your older siblings, because that's really the only power you got against them. Like, I could be slap boxing my older brother accidentally hit his face too hard. He would look up, all of a sudden I'm behind my mother. I was about to snitch on him before he even did anything. Younger siblings are just programmed at birth to be snitches. So when this nigga asked me to aid him in sneaking out, my response was, yeah, have you lost your mind? I'll let you play with the Xbox. Everything I just said flew out the window. AP, have you seen your older brother? <sighs> I'm pretty sure a few hours ago you told him you was finna go to sleep. Okay. Why'd you lie to me? So eventually I had to go back to snitching because now I was also getting punished alongside him for lying. And the Skate 3 gameplay wasn't worth the beating. But then, when a nigga would start snitching on him, he would start getting mad at me and then take away the console. As if I had anything to do with his negligence. So I was just stuck in an infinite dilemma of choosing who I wanted to get in trouble with every time I rather snuck out. And half of the time, I'm not gonna lie, I sided with my parents because a nigga was not finna catch a beating for defending him. Like for some reason, parents be beating you like they have decades of pent up aggression against you. Especially when you lie to them. Them niggas was treating those bell swings like an art form. Them motherfuckers was really putting passion into that. But the only time I would really defend them is if my parents called and asked if he was there. Cause then they can't fact check. So I really had to become a double agent in the household. Another thing that I also found funny a lot about sneaking out are those instances when you're out with your friends and you know that one friend who snuck out to be there looks at their phone and they just get the stare. You know the stare they get when they look at their phones and see the notifications of something along the lines of 20 missed calls from their parents and them explaining every way they're gonna murder him and them niggas just be lost in their phone. You look at that one friend and they're looking at their phone like this. And some parents really just do not play that sneaking out shit. I know some niggas that snuck out one hour past their curfew. A few hours later, we start seeing missing posters of him. Nigga, we could be walking at 2 a.m. and see an all-black caravan pull up right beside us. Thinking we about to get robbed. Next thing you know, you just see their parents open the door with two AK-47s with a switch on it. Trying to make sure this is the last time he ever snuck out in his life. Pro tip, if you're trying to sneak out and your parents fall into the category of any of these skin colors, just don't even try it. I'm SpongeBob.